Page six now holding Team Obama accountable for the greatest political scandal in United States history. The Republican leadership in the United States Senate has got to act quickly. The American people deserve to know the whole truth about Obamagate before November election. The problem is the Republican leadership in the Senate, often afraid of its own shadow. Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Newsbaum. Barry, really, when we look at Obamagate, it's interesting, the development in the last couple of weeks, especially vis-a-vis -vis Michael Flynn, General Flynn, uh, you're really fighting a war against two foes, it seems to me. Number one, the mainstream media, who's trying to dismiss this and ignore it. And number two is, of course, the deep state. So let's start with the deep state. And it involves this judge that's handling the Flynn case right now, this Judge Sullivan, who needs to be disbarred. This guy needs to be removed from the bench. He is the deep state. He has no authority to appoint a special counsel, which is effectively what he did in the, did in the, in the Flynn case here. You know, they teach you in law school when you first start, Graham, the statue of justice. On the one hand, you know, you've got the prosecutor who presents the state's case, and then you have the defense attorney who vigorously defends his or her client, and then you have the judge who's impartial who weighs the facts. In all cases, uh, from municipal courts to justice courts to superior courts, all the way up in the federal court system. If the prosecutor agrees with the defense that there's no case, well, there's nothing to judge because the case is gone. I cannot find a reference anywhere that says a judge is not going to allow dismissal and is going to appoint people to advise him on why he should not allow a dismissal when there's no prosecution. In this case, it's sort of like the 1800s in the Old West. You grab a guy that stole a horse, you haul him in front of the hanging judge, who is judge, jury, and executioner. Yep. And that's what this judge is doing. He picks somebody who hates Trump, who wrote about it last week in the newspaper saying this should not be dismissed. So Sullivan goes out and appoints him as a appointed prosecutor to replace the prosecutor who said, we are dropping the case, dismiss it. I've never heard of this. No, and, and General Flynn, a long story short, what happened to General Flynn, he was set up. He was totally set up by the fourth branch of government, by these operatives in the FBI and in the Department of Justice, unfortunately, who weaponized their authority in a partisan manner in order to harm the incoming president of the United States. Obviously, General Flynn was just a, a useful tool to try and harm Donald Trump. That's what this is all about. But the mainstream media says, oh, don't, don't pay attention to any of this. This is all normal operating uh, operation, unmasking people. Well, number one, it shouldn't be normal, even if it is normal operations, because this is secret information that can ruin people's lives like General Flynn. Well, I got news for you. Somebody, and I mean this sincerely, needs to go to jail. There's a 10 year sentence in federal prison for leaking and unmasking. In other words, all these people who requested the unmasking, who got the data, are allowed to have it. However, it must be constitutionally protected. Yep. Somebody gave it to the press, yep. and the press ran away with it. That person needs to be investigated, indicted, and convicted. Otherwise, spying on Americans in an unconstitutional way is now going to be okay, Graham. And that, to me is not okay. Which is why, Lindsey Graham, you gotta investigate everything and everyone, even if it means Barack Hussein Obama. Very thanks.